Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning, the 20th. <laughs> We're getting near to the end of the month and perhaps a lightening up of lockdown. It'll be so amazing, oh my goodness, to see you guys again. <laughs> it's been a long haul, this. Um, I spent the entire weekend working in my garden, pickaxing, wheelbarrowing, uh, sifting soils, planting red hot pokers and speck boom. Uh, so much speck boom, in fact, that my little cottage is, my cottage's name is Otter's Cottage. And my mother is now pushing me to call it speck black. <laughs> She's been here too long. Speck black. Rarach. I know there are a lot of you out there who will think that's a great name. <laughs> uh, literally, I harvested, um, went three times to harvest from the forest of speck boom. Neatly harvest, understand? Um, and so, yeah, I'm making hedges around all my gardens with speck boom and red octopus, um, partly because we have vint isu. And today, in fact, um, it's a true change of season because winter doesn't arrive um, on Mer Dragon until the wind does. And today the wind is howling. So <clears throat> I've got windows closed and I slept in a bit this morning. I didn't go to the dam. I just took it easy. Today is my Sunday um, after a very, very physical weekend. So I need to stretch. I really need to stretch. I don't know how you all feel. Um, welcome to anybody that's new. Let me know uh, on a WhatsApp that you've joined the group. And, and welcome back to all of you that aren't new. It's nice to have you here. Uh, I know that some of you are, are really doing well with like five sessions a week. I, don't, I won't say names. <laughs> Skunk. <coughs> um, and burn. <coughs> and some of you are just tapping in twice a week. Uh, prayers today. Um, I'm very pleased to report that my friend Dominique, her daughter, is on the mend. She had coronavirus and complications, and they've put her on a strong... She hasn't gone to hospital. She stayed at home, and, and she is really uh, coming back, um, able to breathe easier and feeling stronger. And um, antibiotics or no antibiotics, the power of prayer also. Um, she's a deeply faithful Christian, and... Um, any prayers that went her way, she felt, and um, she's fighting, and she's back on her feet and able to talk sentences which she couldn't before. So thank you, all of you, for, for, for praying for her and for holding her in your prayers. Um, Byrne's brother uh, remains ill. Um, Byrne was able to visit him, though, and we hold him in our prayers and hold them both in our prayers and the whole family that at this time of lockdown that they're able to at least gain access to visit each other and um, that the family can can be strengthened by all of us praying for them. Um, in Worcester there are a few cases. I want to pray for those people who are ill in the hospitals and especially pray for who are only starting to gain an understanding of manage looking after the ill um, safely. Uh, so I just want to give a shout out to our doctors, Sigrid and Charles. Um, we are praying for you and help and know that you will be safe and well. And thank you so much for the work that you do. Uh, right, let us begin. <clears throat> All right, everybody standing. Nice and strong, feet hip width apart and parallel. And if you can just rock around, rock forward and back and find your center. So bring your chin down a little bit like you've almost got a tennis ball under your chin, not lifted or dropped. Lift up the head, lengthen the spine from the top of the head down to the tailbone. Lengthen it up and make sure that you lengthen it up from the midline. So when you lengthen up, it's not lifting up the chest and it's not folding around forward. Try and get centered so that your middle fingers on the seam of your pants, shoulders are open. And if your hands are too far forward, it means you're on your toes, so lean back slightly. And if your hands are too far back, it means you're heavy on your heels. So try and get centered on the feet. Okay, good. And make sure your feet are nicely aligned, slightly pigeon-toed, so that the outside of the foot is parallel. 
good. And take a nice deep breath in. Arms overhead. Make sure you don't lift your chest. And exhale. Again, deep breath in. And exhale. And deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Last one. And exhale. Good. All right. We're going to take a lunge. Step forward. Just step it forward with the right leg. And you can just put it in front and then just inch it forward slightly. Not too far. So I'm not going into a deep lunge this time. It's manageable that both heels are on the ground. Okay. Nice stretch on the back leg. And you're going to pull that right hip forward because as you lunge with that right leg, the right hip wants to go forward. So I want you to pull that right hip back. Okay, and both legs nice and straight, arms stretched forward, shoulder height, make sure that you're not leaning forward. Okay, we are going to lean forward, but we're going to start off straight up. And make sure your hands are even, so there's not one arm longer than the other. Okay, we're going to keep those arms at shoulder height, and we're going to lean forward. Okay, you'll feel the pressure on that right calf and the left calf, and come back. Okay, so it's breathing in, exhale, lean. And bring it back. And two. Make sure those arms are even. Bring it back. Shoulders down, long back of the neck. Number four. And exhale. Oh, your balance should be getting stronger now. <laughs> Five. Both calves are warm. Six. Stretch. Keep those arms even, shoulders down, and don't let the hands close together. Keep them hip, uh, shoulder width apart. And we're going for our happy 12. Number nine. Ten. Eleven. Woo! And that really burns. Last one. Twelve. Come forward, relax those arms, and we're going to go over to the other side. Okay, so I'm feeling a lot of pressure on these calves. A little bit of pressure on the lower back, not too much. Keep the tummy muscles engaged, and remember shoulders down, and keep those arms uh, tuck uh, straight out in front of the shoulder. Okay, don't let them close. That means the shoulders are closed. Or don't let them open. Alright, so we're stepping forward with the left leg now. Only as far as you can keep both heels on the ground. Okay, and toes pointing forward. Don't let those feet duck feet. Okay, pointing forward. Good. Pull that left hip back now. Okay. Lengthen up the body. Keep the arms out stretched. Long back of the neck. Good. Pull that hip back. Arms even. Breathe in. And leaning. Nice pressure on the legs. And bring it back. And two. Breathing in. Keep those heels on the ground. And three. Don't let the arms drop. Keep them at shoulder height. And four. Good. Bring it back. Shoulders down. Long back of the neck. Tummy muscles in. Five. I told one of you that today was going to be tough. <laughs> Six. We're working more on stabilizers today. A little bit upping the upping the balance and stable. Seven. 
Now watch that leg, that right leg. If it's turned, the heel's turned out, bring that heel back to the midline. Eight. Coming up. And if your knee gets sore, just soften that knee. Nine. Reach. Bring it back. That back calf is warm. Ten. Almost there. Don't let those arms move. Don't let those shoulders droop. Eleven. Exhaling. Bring it back. Last one. Woo. And twelve. Nice. Come back up and shake it out. Whew. That's nice and warm. All right, so let's just stretch out those calf muscles in the back of the legs. So we're going to bring that right foot in front of the left. It's still one of my favorite uh, stretches, this. It really gets into that sciatic nerve in the lower back. All right, right foot in front of left. Long back of the neck. Breathe in. Exhale, curling down. And hang. Relax that neck and shoulders. Hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Oh, that feels good. All right, left leg in front of the right leg. And curl. Relax those shoulders. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. <sighs> Good. All right. We're going to take the legs slightly wider than hip width apart, outside of the shoulders. And we bring the arms up to shoulder height. <clears throat> palms down and we're going to reach over you're going to swing my hips are not moving no tighten those up okay it's a rib cage gently moving side to side arms stay level and we're going to go side to side the wind let me just close that properly I live on a very uh, on a steep hill and the wind is hectic. All right, so legs slightly wider. Are you ready? Starting to the right, right to left. In the beginning, it might feel a little uncomfortable um, because we haven't stretched out that area too much, which is what we're doing now. Number four, five, shoulders down, long back of the neck, six, seven, Eight, nine, lengthen up that spine, get tall as you can, eleven, and twelve, good, turn those palms up, and we're going to pulse them up and down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Pinkies together. One and open. Two. Let's do it together. One. Touch them together. Shoulder height. Two. Three. Four. Five. Shoulders down. Long back of the neck. Tummy in. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, shoulders burning, and twelve, palms up, overhead, and touch the arms together, open up, one, and keep those ribs down, two, three, four, Five, six. Make sure you haven't dropped into your ribs. 
lengthen up. Eight, whew, my shoulders are going crunch, crunch. Nine, from all the work this weekend. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. And release. Good, shoulder rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, change direction and round one. All oh, that feels good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And shake it out. Good. Bring those feet back hip width apart. And we're going to go onto that left leg. <clears throat> yes, you know it. And we'll take the right leg out sideways. You may use your Zuma frame or your chair, whichever you have nearby. I'm going to turn that leg out. I'm going to lift it up. Now, I am not turning to face that side with that lift. So try not to let the hips sink in too much into that direction. Lengthen up the side. Get nice and strong on the left. Turn that right knee out. You may bring it forward a little bit if it allows for that movement. Okay? Get it nice, strong. Scoop of the tummy muscles, shoulders down, long back of the neck. And just lift as much as you can without doing this. Okay? Lengthen up. So you're fighting this way and lifting that way. Okay, I want a nice battle going on in that hip. Ready? And one, down, two. And you don't have to lift it very high. high. This way you can. Three, keeping that fight here. Four, strengthening and lengthening. Five, six, nice work on that hamstring and quad. Eight, nine, ten, ah, no, it hurts. Eleven, and twelve. And bend those knees, shake it out. It's a lot of work here, okay? It really is. For me, it's, most of the work is here, and then a little bit here. For you, you might feel it in the lower, in the back of the hip. But it's okay. It's good strengthening. Okay, we're going for the second set. I know. Second set. Yes, we're doing three sets of 12. Okay. Turn that, take that leg out. Lengthen up the left side and turn that right hip. But don't compromise the body. Keep those shoulders square. Okay, you can put your hand here to really feel that strengthening coming on. Uh, when you lift, you don't collapse anywhere. All right. Elise, stay with me, girl. I know you can do this. <laughs> All right. Ready. And one, two, three. Shoulders down, long back of the neck, scooping these tummy muscles. Five. Lengthen up that body. Six, seven. Eight, whew, that's my compromise coming. Nine, keep strengthening up. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Oh, yes, that works the body so nicely. All right, and if that pressure is too much on the round the knee cage, then just you can turn out a little bit. So you can just turn a little bit to take that pressure off. But keep it as... Um, the pressure as high as you are able to do it okay don't overdo it but just keep the tension there okay we're really working on this stabilizer all right yes uno tre uno yo tre sorry christine i need your french lessons okay last set okay toe out lengthen up that body get nice and tall bring the chin down shoulders back Tummy muscles in, strengthening, lengthening, turning that toe out. Okay, bring that foot forward a little bit if you need to. Tighten up those glutes. Ready, and one, and down. Two, lengthen. Three, four, whoo, five, ah, six. We still got to do the left leg. Seven, ha, ah, eight, nine, ten. 11, ah, and 12. Mamma mia, mamma mia, yo. What's with the other languages today? Ah, sometimes English doesn't describe pain well enough. Okay, nice. So we are going to go straight onto the other side. Make sure that your right foot 
is facing forward. Okay, take that left leg out, turn the knee in first, lengthen up the body, get nice. Okay, so from the toe, lengthen, 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 lengthen. Watch that that hip isn't dropping in. Lengthen upright, okay? Rib cage down, shoulders back, long back of the neck. Now, turn that knee out. <laughs> uh, I don't want to, it will be, okay. <sighs> the side, the sucky side. Okay, turn that knee out, lengthen up the body, put your hand on your hip if you need to feel that you're not compromising here. Okay, get nice and strong, glutes tight and lifting. One, two, Oh, see that C coming in here. How that wants to do that. Okay, that means that my back wants to do the work, which I'm not going to let it do. It's got to be from the legs. Five, six, seven, eight, whoo nine, turn that knee out, ten, eleven, and twelve, and release, shake it out. Okay, so watch if you don't start making a little C curve here, like my body did. Okay, lengthen up and try and keep that spine nice and straight. It wants to uh, curl so that you're using the glutes and the lower back, but we don't want to do that. We want to use these flexors. Okay, number two, <sighs> take that leg out, lengthen up, rib cage down, long back of the neck. Pull that hip back, turn that knee out. Lengthen up the spine again. Ready? <clears throat> yes. And one, two, three, four, five. Watch that shoulder doesn't drip back. Six, seven. Oh, I'm rocking. Eight. Lengthen up. Nine. Burn. Ten. 11, I mean B-U-R-N, 12, <laughs> ah, no, burn, I'm sure you felt that, Woo! shake it out, 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 find your happy place, all right, Woo! okay, third set, <sighs> right foot facing forward, hips in line, left hip out, I mean leg out, turn that knee out, Lengthen up the body, strengthen it, get that core engaged. Glutes tight, shoulders open, ready, and one. Oh, somebody's sitting on this leg. Two, three. Try and do all three sets at once. I hope I haven't paused too many times. Four, five. Oh, stabilizers. Six, turn that knee out. Seven. Eight, ha, la, 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 nine, whoo, ten, eleven, mamma mia, twelve, oh, goodness gracious me. All right, let's take those feet slightly wider, turn the toes out, isn't that a nice feeling? Breathe in and bend, hands on the knees and up, I'm going to take mine wider and bend. Push the knees out. Keep the body upright. Okay, everybody ready? And long back of the neck, shoulders open. One. And tighten up the glutes as you come up. Squeeze inwards. Two, releasing and squeeze. Three, knees open, squeeze. Four, three, four. I need help. We'll go for five. Five. Tuck under and tighten those glutes. Six. Shoulders open. Tummy in. Seven. That's a release. That's a tighten. Eight. Sink. Pull. Nine. Don't let that chin lift. Tighten. Ten. Tighten. 11, and last one, 12, and stay down. I'm going to get my knees open a little bit more, so you don't want your knees to go over the foot, okay? And we're going to pulse here. 1, 2, push those knees out, 3, 
four, five, six, ooh, nice tightening glutes, eight, tummy in, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Push your hips backwards, roll forward, and hang. Turn the toes in. All right. From this position, you're going to roll down and you're going to pull that left shoulder towards the right foot. Okay? Keep centered. Tuck that right shoulder into the midline and stretch that left shoulder. Head hanging. And then you're going to walk a big circle. So walk. Keep your heels on the ground. You're going to walk forward. Almost a dog stretch. And then over to the left foot. Drop your head. And walk forward. <laughs> and over to the right. Tummy muscles in. Head hanging. And walking over to the left. Pull that right shoulder forward. Drop your head. You're doing one more both sides. Walking forward and over to the right. Head down, shoulder pulling round. And last. Stretch that shoulder. Good. Back to the center. Bend your knees. Curl up. Nice. Get those legs back together. <laughs> All right. Before we go down onto the mat, let's just do some toe raises. <sighs> Breathe in. Shoulders back. Long back of the neck. And up we go. One. Up and down. Get that line nice and strong. Ready? And one. Two. Push those heels forward. Three. Four, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. Just bend the knees, keep the heels on the ground, bend those knees and straighten. Bend, make sure they don't knock or open. Keep their feet flat on the ground, body upright, long back of the neck. One, up, two, three, four, just stretching out. Five, six, seven, eight, and we're going to do a roll down. So chin to chest, hands at the side of the body, curl those shoulders forward, scoop in the tummy, Lift like a barrel, roll down and hang. Walk the hands forward into your dog stretch, into your push up position. Good. Yes, here we are. Okay, we're going to do the left arm. We're going to do three. Okay, so you're going to breathe in and then lower yourself down to the ground. Hands forward above the head and do a nice cobra stretch for me. In this position, don't flat, don't relax the stomach muscles. Keep them nicely scooped in and tight. Feet are flat on the ground, shoulders back. Okay, if it's too much strain on the back, don't do it. Just do it where you can. You can even just do an elbow onto the elbows or gently lift. All right, going back down onto the ground. We're going to lift up from that push-up position. You can do it however much strength you have. So if you don't have enough to push up from the ground in a push-up position, you can just go onto your knees and then into your push-up position. Okay. Take it from the side. Push-up position. Ready for let down. Breathe in. Lower down. Take the hands forward. Into your cobra. Long back of the neck. Toes flat. Scoop from the tummy muscles. Good. Roll back down. Bring those hands under the shoulders. Drop the head forward. Tuck the toes under. And we push up into a push-up position. 
Okay. Last one. <laughs> Ready? And lower. Good. Slide those hands forward. Up into your cobra. <sighs> We've got to push up the last time, otherwise it's uneven. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> lower down. Slide those hands back under the shoulders. Breathe in. Toes tucked under. And lift up. Good. Drop those knees down and go into a shell stretch. Bring the hands behind you to release the shoulders and relax. Nice. That was a little bit of a, bit of a warm up on the unexpected hair. Hey. Alright, onto your bum. I'm going to just cross my legs for this for the beginning. And you can just do some shoulder rolls to release those shoulders, alright? So we've got eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Change direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good stuff. Alright, arms out in front of you. Lengthen up the spine. Tighten up the fist and we're going to flick. One, wide open fingers and tighten. One and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Release. Okay, I worked with a pickaxe all weekend so my hands are feeling really stiff. So this is really just for me, but it's a really good exercise. Um, to get the blood flow into the extremities, okay, into the fingers and the toes. We'll do the fingers, the toes later. Arms out, stretched again, shoulder height. Lengthen up that spine. Get up tall on the tailbone, top of the head, reaching for the ceiling. Arms out, stretched, shoulder height. Ready? Tight fist and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shoulders down. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and release. Release the whole body, relax. Getting some nice warm muscles there. And again, lengthen up from the tailbone, top of the head, chin tucked in, shoulders open, arms outstretched, scooping the tummy muscles, tighten up the glutes, ready, and push those knees down. One, two, three, four, lengthen up the spine. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Shake out those arms. Good. Hands behind the back. Hold hands. Stretch those shoulders back. Stretch the arms long. Good. Arms overhead. Hook together. And reach over to the right, center, shoulders down, over to the left, push that right knee down as you go over to the left, don't turn that sh left shoulder back, pull it under, keep the shoulders on top of each other, to the right, and up, scooping the tummy muscles, left, shoulders down, over to the right, and up, left. Just do where you can. Number three. Right. Oh, nice stretch on the spine. And left. Centered. Four. As you reach over, push that left, the opposite hip down. Good. Five. Shoulders down, long back of the neck. Good. We're doing eight. <laughs> Six. Stretch. <sighs> and over. Push that right hip down. Bring that left shoulder forward. Seven. <sighs> One more. Scooping the tummy muscles. Lengthen up that spine. 
eight, and eight, good, turn to the left, bring the shoulders forward, bring them around, all right, we're going to make a nice big circle, okay, using the hands, push them as far away as you can, far away, far away, round, ready, and one, keep the head centered, two, hold on tight to those hands, three, four, scooping the tummy muscles, lengthen up that spine, five, ah, you see, always a new exercise, seven, and eight, and we're going to change direction, sweep, round, one, two, three, get nice and tall, four, five, don't lift the chin, six, seven, eight, and release, good, wow, we're really working those shoulders today, now we're going to loosen up that spine, so bring your legs forward, bend the knees, feet hip width apart and if you can see my big bruise here I'm very sorry about that I hit my leg with a pickaxe <laughs> farm life it's not for sissies all right <sighs> get nice and tall you can put your hands under your knees keep your toes on the ground breathe in tuck the chin in push the chest back rounding the spine and lengthen up and exhale and round it back as much as you can. Get up nice and tall, shoulders down, and then round. Okay, and upright. Three, round, and up. And exhale, four, and up. Five. Six. And really try and mobilize this lower back. Seven. Tuck the bum under and round as much as you can, getting a nice open spine. Last one. And eight. Good. And upright again. Straightening out the legs. Arms at shoulder height. Get nice and tall. Good. Flex those feet, pull those toes back, lengthen up the spine, drop the chin, breathe in. What we're going to do is open up the arms. Get up nice and tall and bring the arms forward. Scooping hard on those tummy muscles, lengthen up that spine, tuck the bum under, tighten, breathe in and exhale. Tighten up, lengthen up. Tighten up, three, as hard as you can, really scoop in the belly, four, lengthen up that spine, toes pulling back, five, tighten, and six, keep the shoulders down, long back of the neck, seven, doing twelve, eight, tighten the bum, scoop in the belly, nine, Fight to keep that tightness around the, the girth. Eleven. I think I might have added an extra one there. And twelve. Release and lean forward. Breathe. And up. we're going to roll onto our backs. Breathe in. And scoop in the tummy muscles, scoop, roll down, arms overhead, and relax the body. Good. Bend your knees, flatten the spine, bring the arms forward, push your big toes down, and crunching towards the knees, but really press that lower back down. One. Remember the neck problems, you can put your hands under your head and make a case so that you don't strain your neck. 
like that. Ready? And one, two, low back pressing down, shoulders open, three, four, five, six, pull those shoulders back, seven, roll off the shoulder blades, eight, nine, ten, eleven, hold it up there, twelve, okay, keep it up there, extend the right, uh, the left leg, and as you crunch up, you're going to pull the leg towards you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Bend that knee, drop down to the ground. Give that knee a squeeze. Nice. Take it down. Breathe in. Come up. Extend that right leg out. Ready? Remember, you can't hold your neck if it's too much strain. If you don't have the stabilizers ready. Ready. And one. Pull that leg towards you. Two. Tummy muscles in. Three. Four. Five. Don't let that chin lift. Six. Keep it tucked in. Seven. Eight. Shoulders open. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Bend that knee in. Relax the body. Pull it to the chest. Good. All right. On to the side. Okay, legs extended. I'm going to move up a bit here. You're going to put your head on your arm. Keep the body nice and straight. Scoop in the tummy muscles. Almost want to create... <laughs> there must be a little gap here. Ha ha. I think that was like in the twenty when I was 20, we used to all make these little gaps here. Okay, now I've had children. There's no gap. That's my excuse. All right, but imagine that you've lifted this muscle here. Okay, nice and strong, but shoulders down. Both knees facing forward. Hand in front of the hip to stabilize there a bit. And you're going to lift both legs up. Okay, knees facing forward. Don't let this bottom leg, the knee droop down to touch the ground. Okay, keep it facing forward. Toes stretched, feet hip width apart, and lifting. One, two, three. Watch that my shoulders aren't moving. Four, five, six. Don't let that hip drop back. Seven, eight. Tummy muscles in. Nine, ten, eleven. And 12. Well done. Relax the legs for a sec. All right. Taking that top leg up. Knee facing forward. Both knees facing forward. And we're going to take the leg up. Lengthen from the waist. Drop it down. Two floors. One, two, lift. One, two, lift. Lengthen. One, two, lift. Ready? One, two. Two. And lift. Three. Lift, four, lift, long leg, five, six, tummy muscles in, seven, eight, knees facing forward, nine, shoulders relaxed, ten, lengthen from that hip, eleven, last one, twelve, and release, Whew. such a pain in that. All right, we're not done yet. <laughs> take that leg up. <coughs> we're going to take the bottom leg on its own now to meet the top leg. Don't let that knee turn out. Hand in front of the hip, lifting up. One, and down. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
six. Ow, oh, seven, almost there. Relax the shoulders, eight. Tummy muscles in, nine, ten, eleven, shoo and twelve, and release. Ooh. <sighs> that feels good. Bend the knees, hand in front of the hip, and just take that top knee open. Roll onto your back and roll over onto the other side. Okay, I'm going to go this way around. Onto the other side. Okay. Head on the arm, shoulders pulled back, hand in front of the hip, both knees facing forward. We're going to lift both legs up. Ready? And one, and down. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, tummy in, seven, eight, nine, shoulders relaxed, ten, eleven, and twelve, well done, whew, all right, turn those knees forward, don't let that knee drop out, taking the top leg up, Lengthen from the waist, so really stretch long, okay, so that the hips are on top of each other. We're going to take that top leg up, make sure that the hip doesn't shorten. Keep it pulling down and take the leg up, knee facing forward, drop it down two levels, one, two, lift. One, two, lift from the heel, not the toe, okay. Hand in front of the hip for stabilizing, shoulders open, ready and lift. One, drop down, two, Three, lengthen that hip. Four, five, in breath, in breath, six, seven, eight, lengthen, nine, shoulders relaxed, ten, tummy in, eleven, twelve, ooh, re and release. <laughs> she barren, she barren, she barren. All right, let's get this over with, okay? Let's not have a tea break. <coughs> All right. Top leg up, knees facing forward. Ready to lift that bottom leg and lift one and down. Two. Try to keep that, that top leg parallel to ground. Four. Five. Knees facing forward. Six. And don't do the toe, hey? Lift from the heel. Eight. Almost there. Sure. Nine. Relax the shoulders. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. And release. Yo. Bend both knees. Open that top leg. And roll onto your back. Nicely done. <coughs> Excuse the cough. Okay. You're going to be lying on your back. Knees are bent. You're going to bring your feet up to your bug. And we're going to open both legs up and close. All right. I like to face it this way. So back into your bug position. Shoulders open. Knees in your bug. Don't let your feet be too high or keep them parallel. So when you open up, you're going to open up the knees to the side. And then you're going to squeeze them together. Squeeze together. Don't let the knees fall forward. Don't let them pull too far back. Keep a nice, strong, long spine. And take your thumbs out so that your shoulders are open. Ready. And open. One. And squeeze. Use your stomach muscles. Two. Three. Four. Breathe out. Breathe in. Five. Six, lower back pressing down, tummy in. Eight, nine, squeeze. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Nice. Keep that back position. Okay, lower back pressing down, shoulders open. Extend the right leg, and now we're going to alternate legs, right to left. One, 
two, lower back pressing down, extend, four, five, stretch that leg, six, from the knee, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, <clears throat> and twelve, good, bend both knees, and now you can extend both legs, lower back pressing down to the mat, Extend, one, and bend. Two, shoulders relaxed. Three, use those tummy muscles. Four, five, six, seven, eight, lower back down. Nine, don't let those knees turn out. Eleven, last one. 12, and just rest those knees to chest for a moment. You can rock side to side. Good, we're not done there. Back to back, straighten those legs out. Okay, you're going to open them up, not too wide that you lose control. Okay, open them up to just outside of the shoulders. Turn the knees out and squeeze the heels together. Turn the knees, open. Rotate the knees out, squeeze. Rotate the knees forward, open, out, back. Okay, so we open the legs, turn those knees out, squeeze the heels together, turn the knees in. Two, rotate out, heel squeeze, knees in. Three, rotate out, squeeze, rotate in. Four, Rotate out, shoulders relaxed, squeeze, heel, uh, knees in. Five, rotate those knees, squeeze, in. Six, rotate, really good work on the glutes. And in. Seven, shoulders relaxed, turn those knees out, squeeze, knees in. Eight, turn, squeeze, turn in. Nine, we're almost there. Turn those knees out. Use those stomach muscles. In. Ten, rotate out. Squeeze. Almost there. Eleven, come on, see, you're going to do it. Squeeze. Last one. Twelve, turn, squeeze. In. And release. Well done. Arms outstretched. Feet together, knees together. Drop the knees over to the right. And head to the left and relax. Mm. Over to the other side. Turn the head, knees over. Good. Back to centre. Okay. You're going to put your right foot on your left knee. Drop that right knee out sideways. Hands are still outstretched. And you take that right foot down to the ground on the left side. Keep that knee pushing open. Back up to center. Keep the feet the same way. And now you're going to drop over to the right side. Use that right foot to push the left knee over. Good. Back to center. Bring the hands under that left knee. Pull it to the chest. Breathe in. Head and shoulders forward. And release. Good. I'm going to do the next one from the side so you can see. Arms outstretched. Left foot on the right knee. Push that left knee open. And take it over to the right side. Take the right knee down and use the foot to push that left knee open. Relax the body. It's a lovely pull here. All right, take it to center. Keep the foot on that knee and drop the right knee to the left side and use that left foot to push that right knee down. 
relax. Back up to center. Take the hands underneath that right knee. Pull that knee to the chest. For more stretch, lift the foot. And you'll get more of a stretch. Breathe in. And exhale. Crunch towards that knee. Contract towards that knee. And release. Great. Both feet on the ground. We're going to bring our, our knees off the ground. Hands under the knees for rolling like a ball. Breathe in. And roll. Try and get as much of a roll in that spine as possible. Chin tucked in, curl, just to loosen up that spine. Keep the shoulders open. Try and keep the distance between your head and your knees the same. Let's do two more. It gets easier. And last one. Good. And stretch those legs out, arms overhead, and give yourself a good stretch. All right, let's do a roll up. First one will be a panakuk. Breathe in, exhale, and panakuk. All right, try that again. Breathe in, and exhale. Follow the arms towards the toes, stretching, and stretch. Good. All right, bring that right knee in, lengthen up the spine, and we're going to roll forward over the left foot, directly over it, chin tucked in, stretch. Hold, and release. Nicely done. Let's change sides. Get that left knee down, breathe in, and reach. And release. Both legs forward. You can pause and do a, a partner stretch if you have a partner. <laughs> breathe in, and reaching forward. Hold. And release. Great stuff. All right. Come to a nice, comfortable sit seated position. I'm just going to do the neck and shoulders. Drop the chin to the chest. Gentle pressure. And lift. Head to the left. Breathe in, exhale, head to the right, and change. Last one. Good. And center, ear to the shoulder, and ear to the shoulder. Lengthen up that spine, don't slouch. <laughs> and tummy muscles in. Change. Keep the shoulders relaxed. And last one. Good. Chin to chest. Push the chest in. Around the shoulders. Stretch forward, rounding the spine. Breathe in. Exhale and lengthen up, lift the head and shoulders, look up, lengthen up through the spine and exhale, round. Keep the ears and the arms in line and up and release. Nice big circles with the arms. Round one. Two and three. Just do one more. Right, good. 
<sighs> take the right arm out, sweep it forward, over to the left shoulder and pull gently to the left, out and down, left arm out, round to the right shoulder, gently pull across and release, both arms, turn in and the rock the baby, rock side to side. Good. And release. All right. We are going <laughs> this. It's swing time, Anna. All right. Hands and knees. Going into our push up position. So slide that right leg out. Tuck the toes under. Left leg out. Chin tucked in. Breathe in. And swoop the head between the arms. Push the hips up. Look at your knees. And we're going to walk that hands in. One, two, rock onto your feet, bend your knees, and curl up. Nice. Shake out those legs. Shake out those hips. Shake out those shoulders. Wet dog. Good. Deep breath in, arms overhead. And over to the side. Just do three of these. Exhale, three, ready to swing, and swing, ah, three, let's do two more, and one more, arms overhead, legs wide, and down, bring that right arm to the left, and down, left arm, and release, both in, hold your breath, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, And that's it. Wow, that's a <clears throat> bad hair day. All right. Feel alive. Feel invigorated. That's a good way to start the week, isn't it? Um, remember when you get a chance to do that tap work, it's always good for the lymphatic system and for drainage of the sinuses. Remember the tap Forehead, eyes, below the eyes, lip, chin, throat, center, side, tummy, side. It's a really good one, okay? Forehead, eyes, lip, chin, throat, center of the chest, collarbones, side gut. Right. Nice. <sighs> Thank you all for joining me. I feel really blessed to be able to do this. And last night I was actually doing a meditation about how do I see the future? What do I see being in my life and what do I see letting go of? And uh, I kept having this vision of all of you in my life. And there's one thing I wouldn't change. And that is my group my Pilates life. Um, I value it and I appreciate it so much. I appreciate all of you so much. Uh, anything else that changes is fine. Not my dog, my low key. <laughs> so thank you all so much. Um, I love you very much and I hope you have a really good day. Thank you for coming on. Mwah! Love you. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. <laughs> all right, I'm going to say goodbye. And today is Monday, so I will be doing Wednesday and Friday this week. Um, so you can tune into my YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, um, and also WhatsApp me. Tell me how you're doing. Let me know if there's anyone I can pray for. Um, hold on my thoughts. Uh, support local business. Um, I've we getting our vegetables. Skulk, let me know of a lady. I think she put on the on the census group um, that does vegetable packs. 
it's really important to support people that are, are doing something locally to, to maintain some kind of income during this time. Um, and if you have any struggling community near you, buy a couple of hot dogs, get a couple of rolls, drop it off. <laughs> Let's do what we can to help each other. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Love ya. Bye. Mm, bye.